Hello, my fellow flighters, sniffers, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen. Welcome to my channel. You want to stick around and see this video today. We are actually about to do a rescue. <gasps> Have a scene where you're drinking your coffee and go get yourself done up so that way you look decent enough to be on film. It's 8 p.m. How am I gonna put makeup on right now? What kind of meeting is this going on over here? Is this a meeting of where my phone is? And did you guys just make a mess on my couch? Excuse me, you. What? You sound like an operator. We are going into the bird store, the perfect parrot. I thought that I should probably tell you guys this before we get in there because a lot of you can be against bird stores and I understand some of your reasonings and some of your feelings and I just want to show you a little bit about behind the scenes of how hard some bird stores work, most bird stores that I know, to not only rescue birds but find birds owners to provide the community with lots of information. So many rescues that I've been a part of have been through a bird store and the bird stores community. The bird is lonely because the bird has lost its mate and it's a flighted bird. So let's go meet the bird. Oh my god! You don't answer your phone? Hey, you look great. Thank you. Doesn't you she? not so much on about you. <laughs> so you're just here to get your fix? No. What are you here for? To get you a bird. Which one do you want? Don't. Listen. I know the ring is strong, like there's some power, but I don't know if I could get a bird. How are you? What's up? Yeah. Hi, Cadillac. What's going on? You thinking? Hi. And now you want to say hi? Hello. Yeah, I knew that would do it for you. Hi, Cadillac. Hi, Cadillac. Hello. You look so cuddly, are you? Hi. I think you must be. Hi, Cadillac. Hi, Cadillac. How are you? Yeah. How you doing? How are you? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Are you a minor bird? Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. I'm not going anywhere. Bye bye. Have you had enough of us already? Bye bye. I want to see. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, wow. When I was a little kid, I would spend summers with my grandparents in northern Michigan, and they lived in a little town called Lake City, and the big city right next to it was called Cadillac. And in Cadillac, there was a pet store there, and they always had a minor bird, and the minor birds always talked. That was my first memories of dealing with a bird, was going in to talk to the minor bird in Cadillac. Oh my God. So when we got him, that was his name. I didn't even have to think about it. So he's your bird. He's not yeah, he's not for sale. Oh my god, we can cuddle him. And yep. One day after hours, we can come see that. Yep. Oh. We can come see it. We'll let him hop around. And but if we if we bring him out when the other birds are around, he just terrorizes them. I just, I'm boing, boing, boing. You're a terrorizer, Cadillac. Hello. What? What are you making complaints over here? What? What do you have to say? Oh yeah, 
Look at him. How old is he? He's about four months old. Say hi, Jarvis. Say hi. They're really sweet birds. They get really attached to like one person and they're very playful when they want to be, but not so much with toys, if that makes sense. Say yeah. hi. Yeah. Look at how beautiful the blue tail is. I know. Oh yeah, that bird wants you. <laughs> Are you planning on taking that bird? I actually, I already have a repels, <laughs> so I don't know if I could have two. <laughs> oh my God, stop with the cuteness. They're called Vorin's black caps, which is an opaline mutation of the black cap conure. And these are two little girls. Yeah, these are the little ones that were jumping out of the cage on our Instagram. What? Are you too old for that now? You're too cool? I would name them Ruth and Ginsburg. <laughs> with their little lacy collars, right? Wow. These guys just came in today. Oh, wow. So that's a sun cheek. Not sure what colors you guys are yet. This one's a different, oh, that's a lighter one. That's a mint. What is a mint? Are you a minty? Are you a sagey? Oh no, look, a baby eclectic. Oh. These are big for babies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are these gonna be? They well, look like all, turquoise. They're all green cheeks. There's a lot of turquoise. Look at their little feathers aren't even in. Oh my gosh. I, see, yes. I thought you'd like to see that. Oh, what are you doing? I had to hold them back so we could pull them out to feed them. They were like little piranhas. And as soon as they go in the cage, they're fine. But the turquoise, for some reason, when they... <laughs> you guys uh, you guys already ate this morning. You're, you're not due to eat for another, like, two hours. You're crazy little That's fat. crazy. So look yeah. at the personality. I know, I know. This one's bossy right here. All my birds have got personality. I like it. You know what she said to me one time? She said to me the funniest thing. One day, she's always inquisitive, and she goes, how is it that in all those birds, they rescue. the rescues, how did you not get one dud? Because <laughs> like, birds. Because they all have their own little personality. You know? They do. They do. Oh, that was funny. One dud. So when you brought... Brando, when you got Brando, was she like this? Did or you was... not watch my channel? I haven't seen the Brando one, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you guys, you ready? So this is, who is this, Kim? Her name is Rico. Rico, <laughs> look at Rico. Rico. He's a good talker. She gave me a list of all the things he says. No he says way, like what does he say? Of things. He says, Rico suave. Suave. Good bird, Poop. What's going on, Rico boy? What's up, fella? Ribbit, give me a kiss, give me a carrot. Pretty bird, pretty boy, hi. And he's been wolf whistling at me. Look at him, he's like his little thing. Aww. Look, you like your little thing. So you want to tell us about Rico? Uh, Rico's about 12 years old. He belongs to one of my customers. He was with a another male Linny, but the other male Linny died a couple weeks ago. And she called me yesterday. She was really concerned that he was um, lonely being by himself. So asked me to find him a home. I thought you might uh, know someone who would be wanting yes. to give little Rico a home. I do know someone who would give Rico the perfect home. What you doing with this one? Another Kangilu? This is Rico. Rico. You know what, Rico? Okay. Suave. And Rico talks a lot. And Rico is 12 years old. They really only live about 15 years. And his mate died. And he's lonely and needs other birds to play with. What are you doing? I'm here, so you're going to bring this one home? If you think this is chaotic, wait till you get home. Rico is going to come home. Mm. But he's not for me. Danny? No. Who would he be for? Oh, Megan? Yes. It's actually one of Megan's dream birds. Oh, this one? That's so cute. I thought that was a reaction. <laughs> he was born in May of 2009. He is a linoleated parakeet. They estimate to live about like 15 years, right? Yes. 15 years, so he's kind of a senior. 
How funny is it, guys, if I told you that a blue, well, a turquoise, linoleated parakeet is Megan's dream bird. She posted on Twitter a week ago, not kidding you. Then Kim called me with this situation, thinking of me, but Megan is going to be the perfect home. Megan, I ran, of course, you never wanna buy a bird for anyone or you never wanna rescue a bird for anyone and it'd be a surprise. So Megan knows about this, but she does not know that I have him today. She has never met him and she's really excited that he's a senior bird and she's really excited to give him all the love that he needs. So Kim tells me that linoleated parakeets and bats are the most entertaining things you could ever see. So we're gonna check that out. Behavior. We're gonna surprise Megan with him, but she knows. She knows, but she doesn't know it's happening now. Okay, here we go. Keep me posted. I will, thank you. Here we go, guys. Oh, you'll never believe it. 